I think just the, uh, the, the Lord just touched the judge's heart and yeah. he finally said, you know, at the, the, the court date, before the last court date, he told me that, because um, I came in the court smiling, I was happy, I knew I was leaving, and I just had a, an attitude about me, you know, and he didn't like it. So he gave me an extra 30 days in jail. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
you know, um, even knowing that I had to go to probation and take a drug test, I still couldn't stop using them. Mm-hmm. And um, so I violated my probation three separate times because I just couldn't stop. And uh, the second time I violated, I uh, got sent to a court-ordered DOC program, um, which pretty much just set me up for failure. You know, it was had nothing to do with God. You know, going on. Uh, you know, it's going on man's own power to try to stop that addiction. And that's just, that's not the way to do it. You know, God is the answer. And he's Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, so I ended up spending several months in the uh, county jail um, before I went there. Um, I, I made it through six months of that program. It was, it was residential, and I stayed there for six months, and it was six months of aftercare. And, um, you know, I had gotten involved with a couple of guys that I was in the program with and thought they were friends. And, you know, we all got out about the same time and just started, you know, doing all the same stuff we were doing before we were in there. And, you know, one thing led to another. I violated that uh, aftercare and spent several more uh, months in county jail. And, uh, you know, I just went through so much stuff that now I look back on you know, I didn't have to go through any of that. You know, but I, like some of these guys, you know, I wasn't brought up in a in a, a Christian home where where my family or my you know parents went to church. Um, you know, my my grandmother, she was she was a good good lady. She had strong faith, and she went to church every Sunday. And she, you know, she worked at the church and volunteered and. Um, you know, shortly after that, that had happened when I got the felony charge, or actually this was right before I got that charge, and, um, you know, my grandmother, she was pretty much the one that held our family together, you know, her being a strong Christian and all, and all. Um, but she uh, passed away from cancer, mm. and um, after that, you know, I pretty much, I didn't care anymore, and, um, you know, a lot of times, I would, uh, you know, we'd go to my grandmother's house every Sunday, you know, after church. Sometimes she would take us to church, and, you know, me and my grandmother were really close. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, after she passed away, you know, things were things were rough on me. In about a year and a half uh, time period, I lost my grandfather, my grandmother, and a 19-year-old cousin who was like a brother to me that um, OD from... <clears throat> or he overdosed from drugs and died and he was 19 years old and um, you know but even seeing that and going to his funeral I still couldn't stop using the drugs you know and um, it wasn't until about a year ago that you know I became really desperate you know I came to a point where I had exhausted every option I had. Um, I was out of work, and I just came to a point where I just cried out to God. And um, since then, I, I, He's just turned my life around. Uh, he's delivered me from that addiction. Praise God. Uh, So those that are in Christ are a new creation. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I know I'm a new creation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Praising. Yeah. And, you know, I've been in this program for about nine and a half months now. And, uh, you know, it's just awesome the things that God, God's doing in my life. Uh, he's restoring the relationships uh, with my father. And uh, you know, just on my Amen. physical body. Yeah. And, uh, you know, right now he's, he's dealing with me on uh, on uh, what Matthew was talking about with waiting on him. Yeah. And uh, you know, sometimes you know it's a pretty pretty intense schedule we have at this place, and you know it it doesn't really change much.